These are 13 new features in Forza Horizon 4 you should be hyped for. It's been a little while, uh, Forza Horizon 3 has kind of died down and I've been waiting on some Forza Horizon 4 stuff and uh, I'll be having some Forza Horizon 2 content because it is the free game of the month and I figured I'll do some stuff on there because I've never had the game before. But these are 13 new features, right? So some of these you guys are already going to know. Uh, if you've been watching and keeping up with everything, you're going to know all of these. Uh, but if you haven't and maybe you're like me and I couldn't, you can't watch all the live streams or make time to see the videos, then these are 13 new features in the game. Now there's plenty of other new features, but these are the ones that are going to have the biggest difference uh, in the game. So let's start off with number one, Dynamic Seasons. Obviously this is a known fact. We know that uh, every week there's a new season which is cool and the maps completely change something that we didn't know uh basically until we saw the winter and you know the whole map just it feels like a whole new game pretty much uh number two are super wheel spins we knew this was a thing once we saw what edition you should buy which is the video i did um but we didn't know what exactly was in a super wheel spin uh but basically all it is is a better chance at uh forza edition cars and it's kind of like a slot machine you get three different wheel spins in one uh so yeah number three is spacers uh spacers for drift cars so you can get more angle uh only available on certain cars as we've been able to see so far but otherwise spacers are a new thing and they look pretty cool it looks like they're helping drifting a lot so uh that's pretty good for all the hardcore drifters out there uh, who knows if it's going to be easier or harder to control uh, whether you put the spacers on or not, but angle kits, all that kind of stuff, it's definitely good to have it in the game as a feature. Number four is quick chat. Now, uh, it's going to be used using the D-pad for uh, Xbox users. I don't know about PC, probably like some arrow down buttons, uh, but this is, I mean, I don't see this being a huge thing because most of the time when people are playing online they are with a party uh but since we have full online lobbies now i guess if you just want to drift around with somebody you can say look do the hey want to drift or hey want to uh cruise down the road it's just a little thing but i have a feeling it's not going to be used a whole lot uh and uh, i want to start a conversation in the comments you know if there's certain things that you disagree with uh go ahead and put that down and i'll respond back to you number five is going to be full online lobbies uh, so yeah, we already know 72 uh, people in a lobby, but it's going to be uh, separate lobbies of 12 people pretty much. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, once again, it's going to interact with a quick chat feature and such. I just like that it's a big difference from the other horizons because now it's real people. It's not just little, um, uh, what do they call drivatars, just going around. It's not any of those type things. Uh, so at least we actually have real people and they can't ruin our uh, drifting and cruising and stuff like that uh, Unless you're in the same party as them, which is a really really good feature that I'm glad they have Number six is hourly Forzathon uh, Now we saw this in the live streams uh, Basically after the Forzathon there's like a reward and there's certain cars you can only get from Forzathons Well, okay, like it's not behind a Forzathon wall but it's easier to get behind there, basically. So if you don't, if you don't want to play online, you know you're not gonna be limited just because you don't want to, you know, play online. Uh, but it's an option. You know, you get the chances. You you get better, um, you know, cars. Uh, whether you do that uh, hourly forzathon, and we know there's hourly forzathon and weekly forzathon too, uh, just like the other games. And yeah. That's basically number six. Number seven is individual car perks. Now we learned this uh, in last the live stream for winter. Uh, speaking of which, spring last one. Uh, I'll probably do a reaction review, such like that. Maybe even live stream it. Who knows? Individual car perks. That's I, I like the idea because even like the guy said in the live stream, uh, once you finish your perks, which doesn't take too long to do, you kind of just do the double XP one. You spend that every now and then again and that's about it but now 
you know you're gonna be able to if you really like a certain car you're going to be able to get full perks on that which is nice you know it's gonna help you get uh, better skill chains uh stuff like that uh which is really nice too and speaking of car perks i was gonna put this as a new feature uh, but it just kind of goes with car perks is that you need two uh two hits to break your skill chain which is part of the perks i mean you could put it as a 14th feature because it is a feature but i kind of just put it together with the individual car perks uh but it, uh, speaking of the car perks is going to make you like grind out more cars and such uh if you really want to set a good time with the car you're going to want to have good perks for it uh kind of like the crew too a little bit with the uh the bonuses you can get number eight is driver personalization uh we saw that you can you know put different outfits on you can change the faces stuff like that all, all new stuff that doesn't exactly matter way too much but it's it's whatever i mean it's something a little thing that didn't take too long to you know make but it's gonna add a cool little thing to it uh number nine is houses now if you don't know about houses, I don't even know. I mean, this is about as obvious as it can get, except Dynamic Seasons. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the whole house business, we've spotted a lot of houses. I don't know how many houses they spot. Like I said, I haven't been able to see the live streams. Uh, but there's different houses all over the map. And, you know, I'm just waiting to see one house that's going to be only available on one side of the frozen lake. And so you can only get across it on the winter. I think that'd be pretty cool. Number 10 is businesses that you can own. Uh, well, I know the taxi business and a few other different little businesses that are going to help you get money. Uh, just another little feature that's going to help you get money. And my cat just sneezed. You can probably hear that. Yeah, a little feature that just makes the game a little bit better. Adds more... Uh, thought into the game adds more money making methods into the game stuff like that number 11 is full elevation now this as much as not as a feature it's just kind of an unlock uh thing because if you look at how big forza horizon 3 was it was fairly big but if you did the actual volume of it there was no height and you look at forza horizon 4 map or the forza horizon 4's map and it's I would say it's slightly smaller, but the volume is going to be a lot higher because of how high up you can go with the elevations and the mountains. So if you think about it, it's a bigger map, even though it's not as big. It's just, there's more to it. Number 12 is the new upgrade process. Uh, also the new way of kind of buying cars that's separated uh, by going left and right of the manufacturers and then down by uh the actual car which is cool but i like the new upgrade process how you upgrade outside your house and yeah i think that's a really cool idea uh so i'm glad that's in the game and the last one is seamless photo mode and i cannot tell you how many times i've had ruined thumbnails because i cannot go into photo mode while in an online lobby finally we can